it is time to awaken to who we really are, souls who have an expression through our physical body, utilizing our ego minds, the personalities that we are born into, these personalities that come with a package all of their own, with likes, dislikes. Discernment is necessary to choose for ourselves, no judgment. There is no more room for judgment on planet Earth. It is now the age of discernment, which is discerning for oneself what is right for our personal self, not what is right for another. Each person has their own right way of doing whatever it is they need to do to figure out their life, to awaken to who they truly are, what we call the soul self. This is beyond the ego self, but it, in, it includes the ego self. It includes the physical body, the physical form. And when you combine the physical form, your beautiful body, with your ego mind personality, along with your soul, and allow the soul to be in command, you then awaken yourself to allow life force energy which is the God energy, to pulsate through your very being and animate your entire system. In doing this, you bring much necessary vibration to the planet. So much of it has been closed down due to fear, due to judgment, due to wrong thinking, and it's time to awaken it once more on planet Earth. And it begins with each person individually awaking within themselves to who they truly are, expressing who they are, every aspect of their being, bringing it into alignment, congruency within oneself, becoming the soul self, one's true soul self, radiating this vibration, this frequency, which is a combination of frequencies to the entire planet of Earth. And now I will demonstrate placing the fingers here, right here in the hollow of the throat. This is where your blueprint is held, the blueprint that your soul designed for your incarnation. Place your hand here and ask your soul to awaken within yourself, to express through you. Feel it. Do this with your eyes closed until you feel the pop. And then do it again, each time feeling the pop. And as you pop open, allow the floodgates to open to your very being the full expression of who you are. This can be done in increments. It can be done in three settings, 30 settings, 300 settings. It all depends on you and your fear factor. Most of us have been taught to be afraid of who we really are. And as you do this each time, awakening further, deeper into your true self, the soul of who you really are, you will not be afraid any longer. And then you must share, <laughs> you must share. Once you awaken, you must share who you are. You can't help but do so. And as you can see, it is a beautiful, beautiful feeling to know, to feel, and to express more of your truth each and every day. And as you do this, as you awaken further and further into who you truly are, you will be so elated to share with others. And they will be receptive to who you are, for you are sharing authentically your truth, not what you have learned from outside of yourself, from what you have read, but what you know to be true. And truth is within. It is within each one of us.
All others can do is share with us their truth. All I can do is share with you my truth. It is time for each one of us to awaken to our own truth, share it with others, but only as an example, never as the way or only way, for there is no only way. There is a way. There are many ways, multitudes of ways. This is my way, and I share it with you. Peace.